Okay, I'm sick today, but uh, I just want to talk about um, some plugins that they have for Rhythmbox, and some of them are really useful. So I do, uh, you know, recommend you try some of these out. But don't try to enable all of them at the same time. It'll cause your shit to be unstable. Uh, so that being said, let's uh, look at this shit. Now in here, uh, this is how it looks by default. But um, some of these plugins are there, you know, already. Some of them are not, and I'll show you how to get that uh, later on. Anyways, um, the plugins here. So let's go on uh, by order. Uh, let me enable these three. So the album art, uh, context bank art. All right. So we have uh, four of those. First one is um, let me let me play a song here. Oh, uh, not that. Let me see. All right. You see how it, it displayed the the cover art. Um, this is the context ping. Uh, basically, it grabs information from uh, Last FM and displays you know more information that you might want to know, like their top songs, um, a brief information about them, their other albums, and they even have lyrics for this current song that uh, you're listening to. If you want to know the lyrics, and for this one, um, this is like to get the album art. Let's say you have nothing here. Uh, some of them they, they don't show up and what you can do there is um, you know just grab it uh, and set it as your default uh, album art all right just set it like that or you can just drag it in here let's say you don't want to see that one you want this one you can just do that and it will apply for the the whole album I believe so that's how that works and as for the the desktop art um, basically let's see here go back and you see this is the the desktop art uh basically it's a convenient way to you know have a nice look at um the album that you're listening to and you can change it too if you like but well, that's how that works though and what else is here let's go back to this Uh, this one is the equalizer. Uh, not really that impressive, but uh, I don't know. You can try it out. And they do have some options. You know, do the, all that crap. Up to you. I don't really dig it that much. On uh, the FM radio, I think this is by default, but uh, no, it's not by default. No, this one doesn't actually work. No, never mind. Not that one. Uh, full screen view don't really recommend it but it's nice to know that it exists and I think they're improving on it but let me show you that off it's basically kinda like party mode let me see enable that and hit this and well not not this track but let's let's play another one I don't know what the hell alright let's say you have that and you can have like all the Michael Jackson stuff it's kind of limited to what you can do here, but it's kind of like party mode. And if you have like an album art, it will display the album art. Uh, it looks kind of nice, you know, when pe you have people over. Uh, that's what that does. And the IM status uh, basically works for, uh, let me see here, Empathy, Gossip, and Pigeon. So if you have like your buddy list and you want to, you know, get the message out there, which uh, shit that you're listening to right now, I'll uh, display it right here. See? So that's how uh, that's done. And what is this one? Uh, Internet radio station browser. Um, I like this one better than the other crap. Let me see here. This one has Shoutcast and Icecast. So if you're a Shoutcast uh, person, you can actually uh, listen to the radio stream that they have. All right? It's all here. It's all good. And uh, Jamundo. Uh, this one's by default also. It's kind of like, um, what is it, uh, Creative Commons songs. I'm not really a big fan of it, but uh, it's free and you can actually download the songs. You just have to wait here. You don't, you don't have to need, you don't need an account, I believe. But once it loads, you know, you'll see the list here. And basically, you can listen to it, uh, you know, streaming. 
or you can download it too if you right click on it and there you go you can download the album or you can donate to the artist up to you okay uh, what's the next one here jump to playing uh, basically it's good for let's say you, you're playing a song and while you're browsing for other one you want to go back to where you were all you do is you have this button now right this little icon here and you go like that and you're back to the song that you're currently playing uh, so that's how that's done and the last FM you know I haven't tried last FM until like two weeks ago and I was actually impressed by it uh, they have this by default and you do need to make an account with them totally free but uh, what I did about here is that you type in the artist that you like and they'll try to recommend uh, some different artists and it plays it uh, streaming you know right there and then so I dig that so if, if I uh, search for Dido uh, they'll recommend uh, you know similar artists um, with her type of sound and you see they have it here and it'll, it'll continue to generate a list so I dig that oh shit what up and similar to that is the last FM dynamic tracks basically this is not using the server it's just using um, what is recommended and what you have on your local disk so it's just um, recommending what you have on your local disk and uh, they'll, they'll put a, a, um, a queue here so you see how you have your play queue here uh, you have to enable it here up here at top here you go uh, enable that and you have this list and whenever you play a song on um, uh, your hard drive here well you gotta enable this first there you go enable that and then you when you play a song they'll actually generate a a, um, a list of what uh, you know they, they recommend so if I listen to what is this guy Entrega Iglesias they recommend my Backstreet Boys <laughs> so that's how uh, that works pretty cool I dig that and it's much faster if you know you're on a uh, local disk so if you have shady internet um, you might want to use that and the next one is was this Ma Magnatune store so it's kinda like a I'm not sure if this is open source or something. No, no, these are just, uh, I guess, independent artists. But um, you can actually listen to it. It's streaming, and if you want to buy it, I guess you can buy it, right? There you go. You have purchase and download album and all that. I'm not sure if that's free. I think it's free. Okay, I'm 90% sure it's free. Uh, anyways, next one. Uh, open folder. I kind of like this one too. Let's say you're listening to a song that you have, and uh, you want to go to that folder that the song is placed at. All you do is right click on it and open containing folder. And there you go. Dig that. 